welcome back everyone to some more Super Mario Bros. 3. Today, it's time to take on, well, World 4. Hopefully a bunch of it. Today, Misty Dawn 132 joins us. Hey guys. <laughs> Come to join the fun of World 4. Uh, <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I feel bad for whoever's going to be co-comming in World 6, because they're going to be getting an earful of my rage. Oh, yeah. I feel bad for I don't them. know. Yeah. God. Shame for me to play this game at all. Even oh, if it was just me and not co calming, I would be raging and I don't even know if I get through that let's play. Oh yeah, I already have been. Yep. If you've seen any of the previous episodes, you'll know how much I've been raging already. Oh yeah, jeez. Yeah, I'm definitely not good at platforms. Especially yeah. this one. Especially with a keyboard, it's even harder. Yeah, I know. Rawr. Yeah, I've... <laughs> I could have hooked up my Xbox controller to try and do this, but it was just too much effort. Yeah. So what are you using for the controller? Ah, uh, keyboard. Oh, wow. Props. Oh no! Here. No! <laughs> I hate when that stuff happens. Especially if it's like you're right near the end and then you fall. Yeah, I know. That happens a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm using a, an actual keyboard for this. That's Jeez, probably not that's... helping towards the rage. No. <laughs> I remember playing games like this and trying to use a keyboard, and it just makes the difficulty that much harder because controls. Oh, yeah. Well, that mushroom's gone. Ooh. I won that block. Oh, damn it. Ugh. I tried to be sneaky. That did not work. Never be sneaky with those guys, they'll stick up on you. Oh, this game. Whoa, I jumped over him. That was close. Yeah. Oh, I don't even remember this world. Yeah. Yeah. I think I remember like playing this game, but it was like the, I don't know, I think it was like a different version or more like um, advanced version of the one that I played. I don't uh, remember what, which console it was for, I think it was for like the either, I think it was Super Nintendo. Ah, so you played like the, one of the earlier versions. Yes, which is, oh, it's bad, because I think I got to world like three or four, like it might have been the world that you're on, or world three at least. Ah. And um, what happens is, I'm pretty sure in that game that if you, like, get a game over, that you start from, like, the beginning. Ah, yeah, I that'd be the original. Yeah, that's what happened, and that's when I kind of rage quit, and I was like, you know, uh, I got to World 3, and then I ran out of continues, and, well, it booted me all the way back, I think, to World 1-1. Yeah. I think what happened. New games don't do that because less people will buy them that way. Yeah. More people will Gosh, buy them. except... Now. Oh god, that's not good. Oh no! 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 Oh gosh. Oh, I hate those levels. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. Water levels. Oh, you should have seen the last episode then. Oh, oh, the water world. Wow, it died straight yeah, away. Yeah, water world, oh my god. Yeah, Emily got an earful of my rage in that episode. Oh, jeez. Oh god, this is not good. Yeah. Mmm! Oh god, now I gotta fight this guy. Yeah. But yeah, especially older games, my god. I don't know how kids did it back then. I mean, technically I was from that generation when I could have been playing like older retro games as they called them, but I did not. I started with the N64, which is still when 
the difficulty was still kind of there, but they were sort of veering off from that and concentrating more on graphics and yeah. I think story, just because they had the technology to focus more on story and yeah, graphics. they did. So they focused more on that instead of the difficulty, and then that's when the difficulty really went kind ah. of downhill wise for the GameCube anyway. I know the GameCube was a significant like drop in difficulty. It was so focused on graphics and story play and I don't think it had very many good games of the GameCube. I know there's like a few select ones like well people will debate about when Waker and Luigi's Mansion, but I yeah. thought they were good. I never owned either of them consoles. I have played a Nintendo sixty four mm -hmm. though, but I've never owned one. Ooh. Yeah. No! Dem oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> fish. Uh, yeah, I, I started with a PlayStation 1 and then got a Game Boy. Uh, was it Game Boy or Game Boy Color? I don't remember. I know, I, I had a Game Boy Color. <laughs> it was, uh, I think the color was like cosmic purple or something. It was like the see through purple one. Oh, nice. So, oh, it was you epic. No! I love purple. Uh, yeah, I had a uh, yellow one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch! That's when I had my days of Pokemon. Pokemon Blue. I had yellow. Was... I had Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, I think I remember, like, had some... Or some kids or whatever that I was growing up with had yellow, and I was so jealous because I was like, Oh, damn, you get, like, Pikachu in that game. You get all three starters. And not to mention, I think the Pikachu follows you. Yeah, that too. So you actually like, play almost like the... Wasn't that one based off the anime? Uh, or, yeah. Or yeah, it was based. based more on the anime, yeah. Yeah, it had especially the when proper that came team rocket and everything in it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be careful this time. No! Nope, nope! Mm. I don't have any power-ups either, so I can't do anything. Uh. Well, I have the invincibility. I could power run it, but... That's true. It's like the invincibility. Oh, yeah, it's like the star. Now, they're like there's like P-wings and stuff like that you can get. Oh, yeah, I had one of them earlier in the game, but I used it. Yeah, usually those I think I've heard are best to leave for, like, I don't know... Oh, yeah. The world I, or something like that. I used it for good reason, because level is pissing me off. This level. I don't like it. That's my third game over already. It's eight minutes. Uh, uh, don't worry, I would be doing the same if not worse. <laughs> That's why, like, oh, I don't even know how I'd even be able to, one, commentate during this game and focus at the same time. That's why I'm getting co-commentated, because I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, no, I totally understand that. That's probably what I'd have to do, too. There's just no way. Because I was considering doing, like, more retro games on my my channel, but then I was like, oh, well, that's going to be a very long project and a very big leap from what I'm used to. Ah, uh, um, yeah, well, I suppose, it was the, I suppose this was the same era as Pokemon Leaf Green, but that's a different game completely. Yeah. RPG versus platform. <laughs> Quite a difference. That's true. Ah, oh, you son of a... Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. Run, what? little man. Hang on. Yes! Little worried there. Yeah! Only yeah. took about 15 tries. Yeah, seriously, though. Uh. Yeah! So, how many retro games have you beaten? Um, define retro. Probably would be Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, kind of, I guess. Um, well, let's see. I'll start with the Game Boy, Game Boy Color and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Pokemon Yellow. Whoa! Uh, Pokemon Crystal? Mm-hmm. Um... Ah! Well, I get another power-up, so... Sucked in, guy. Uh, ooh! That'll do good. 
Uh, I can't really think of anything else for the Game Boy. Uh, PlayStation 1, I beat plenty of games, including like a lot of Spyro and Crash Bandicoot games, because they were awesome. Yeah, I've heard about the Crash Bandicoot games. Like, I've never actually owned a PlayStation in my life, though, so... But I've, uh... I've had uh, friends that owned, like, PlayStation 1, I think, and stuff. So I saw it, like, via through that, but I don't think I saw Crash Bandicoot until I started getting to Let's Plays, and I was like, oh, people are Let's Playing this game, and it was apparently for the PlayStation, so that's cool. Kind of yeah. reminds me of uh, Banjo-Kazooie a little. But, like, the PlayStation version of... Yeah, that game would Crash, be. The Crash I think you games, collect things in that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, Crash games were really fun, though. I must say, they were a great part of when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, Spyro? I finished a few of them. I don't remember which ones, but... Mm, Wasn't one of the Spyro games for the Nintendo 64? Because I think I might have rented one once. I have... No clue, actually. I kind of ported it over or something like that, but that's the only problem with porting games over to like consoles that weren't meant for it. <laughs> it sometimes yeah. it loses a bit of whatever they intended to have, like graphics wise and you know, controls and stuff like that. Yeah, they gotta yeah over. PlayStation and Xbox are known more for graphics than Nintendo could ever be. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Even though they have stepped it up with the Wii U, but still. Yeah, it's still nothing compared to the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. Yeah. Oh! Oh god, no! No. Oh. And just more for, like, the Nintendo games, because I love I love RPGs and story-driven things, so... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, It's not to Nintendo... say that PlayStation wouldn't have it, but... Yeah, PlayStation and Xbox do have them, but Nintendo is more known for them. Wow, I got that guy. That was awesome. Get out of here. Yeah, Nintendo is definitely more for the like that kind of audience. Oh yeah, that's why I kind of always stuck oh, Nintendo no! with Nintendo and sixty four, and then went to GameCube, and then it went yeah. to the Wii, and then now the Wii U. So <laughs> I've kind of just gone along with every console Nintendo has pretty much put put out, except for the Nintendo. Original Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, though. Wow, what? I went back and Wait, played those what games. What can I move? Like, whoa, what? Have you? Whoa, hang on. Have you ever played Chrono Trigger? Um, no. What? Why is my mouse not? Why is my keyboard not working? What the hell was that? Oh, that's weird. It's working now. Uh, no, I, I haven't played that. I looked at it. And I was just like, eh, I don't know. It's really fun for, oh, I guess, no. I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely a heavily based RPG game where it's like adventure and leveling up and magic ah. and skill combos and things like that, essentially. It's it's different from, well, Pokemon's kind of like that, except instead of you leveling up, it's like your Pokemon leveling up, so it's still got a level up system, but... Ah, yeah, since you have okay. party members, which is p actual people following you, like your friends and comrades and things like that. But okay. it's really cool. It's really addicting. I think that was like one of the few retro games I kind of started getting into. Um, okay. Yeah, and but I had not experienced retro games at all until I was challenged to beat Castlevania One. That was a pain in the neck. I beat it. But it was a pain in the neck. <laughs> so, uh, and then I was like, dared to maybe let's play it one day, which I don't even know how I would go about that because it took like, I don't know, at least a couple months and hours upon hours of like sitting down and trying to get past at least one level and having several continues. And it would be so, it would probably be like at least three, if not four hours of recording just to get some progress in like an episode or something crazy. So it oh, would geez. be a ridiculous feat and let's play to do. I'd have to practice it a lot more in order to get some progress, but oh my god. It's just like in that game, the difficulty like spikes up like crazy. I ah. think. Yeah. And the enemy patterns and things like that are so weirded out. Like, I think at the beginning you only take, like, one damage, and then later on you can take, like, one hit would take off three bars of health, and then eventually okay. it'll t each hit will take off four bars of health. 
Oh, and wow. It's like, and you have, like, I think, I don't know, maybe six, I don't know the exact amount, but 16-ish plus bars of health, so you get, like, you can only get hit, like, maybe three or four times, and then you're dead. <laughs> oh, okay. And the enemies are ridiculous, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's nuts. Okay. And that's, like, apparently one of the tougher retro games out there is the first Castlevania. The second Castlevania, um, I tried that one a little bit, which is very different because it's more of an, instead of being platform, it's more of an RPG-ish platform game, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, which a lot of people were disappointed with, but... Okay. Yeah. I never which is very obscure. I never actually played any of them, actually. Things, but... Oh god, I'm dead. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, the Castlevania games, they're... I've heard they're good. I've heard, like, the later ones are good, or better. And, well, obviously they one up and probably, like, less of the diff- I, well, I'm not entirely sure about that one, but I'd assume maybe the difficulty went down as, like, you know, it went up in consoles and graphics and different things like that, because that's usually how it goes, but maybe not. Yeah, a sure. lot of games do that. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I prefer newer games. I find them more fun. Yeah, new games can be really fun. Like, I was brought up mostly on the newer generation games. Uh, N64 could be the only ones I consider to be somewhat retro-ish, like Ocarina of Time and Under's Mask and Banjo Kazooie. I remember played that. Just have other ones, but besides that, once it's like GameCube and up, I just kind of like, yeah. well, okay. Because I always yeah. stuck with Nintendo because I love Zelda and Mario and Pokemon. <laughs> Those I... are kind of like my main things. Yeah, well, I'll, I grew up mainly with my PlayStation 1 and then with the PlayStation 2. Yeah. And I after, I think it was Generation 2, I think I actually, yeah, I got out of Pokemon for years until I was like 12, and then I got back into it because my cousin had Pearl and I got Platinum. Mm-hmm. I got back into it. Oh, yeah. crap. I just used my it's kind of like the same with me because I kind of... I was really into it for um, the first generation and then the second generation. So I played blue like nuts. I don't even remember if I even beat the Elite Floor. Yeah, Floor. But the Elite Four in blue or not. I, I honestly couldn't remember. I know, like, in Leaf Green, it's kind of like a remake of the older one. So yeah. I guess technically I did there. But uh, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I was so young, I didn't even remember if I beat the Elite Four in that or not. But I know in Crystal, I'm pretty sure I ended up beating that, so I ended up getting Crystal afterwards, and I think that was the last Pokemon game I played for, like, years. Yeah. And then I finally picked up, like, uh, Platinum and, and uh, played that. Yeah. And then and just went to uh, Soul to, Silver and stuff. You need to try out, like, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. They're awesome. Yeah, I heard through Generations really good, though I it also is. heard that... Yeah, just kind of sad because I guess that was around the time when people kind of were losing interest in Pokemon, and then, you know, when it came out, and then, I don't know, maybe people thought, like, the Pokemon were weird. I don't know, people always think that the next generation of Pokemon are always just getting more ridiculous, but... You know what I say? All gens had good and bad. Look at Voltorb or Grimer. They are shit. Oh, I know. I never liked Voltorb or Grimer. I was just like, okay, what the heck is the series? They're no, they're no better than Litwick or Vanillite in Generation 5. They're no better, in my opinion. Vanillite and Litwick are no worse than Gr Grimer and Voltorb were. And then you've got yeah. good Pokemon in every generation, like ones like um, Rhydon was good in Generation 1. He was really powerful, and so was... Ah! Left it too late to move. Or well, ones like Raichu was good as well. Yeah, I know, I really liked Raichu. And then Gen 5 has some really good ones too, like Excadrill and Darmanitan, which are really OP. Oh, oh geez, Excadrill. Yeah. Extra Did I say that right? Probably not. Yep. But and yeah. Hydreigon. <laughs> Hydreigon is just a beast. Oh my gosh. I love using Hydreigon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Gosh. Remember, I always wanted, like, a Garchomp, especially, like, once I fought Cynthia, like, oh, um, the champions at the end, how she had a Garchomp. And that thing always took me down in those battles, like, um, yeah. her Spirit Tomb would always be, like, the first one she sent out, and that would be, like, her defensive wall, which is, like, nothing you could do would just 
get rid of that thing. It was just kept taking hits, kept healing it, and oh, it was just terrible. Then once you finally got it down, she used like a, a hyper potion or whatever to revive how it back up get, again. How do you get through that fucking hole? I think you might have to run and duck. I tried and it won't duck. Hmm. It could be also the controls on the keyboard. This may troll know. you a bit, but I have a shiny Garchomp. Ooh, nice! Actually, yeah, never in, caught a in, shiny in our black before. two. In black two, if you finish the black, the black tower in Black City, you actually get given a level one shiny Gibble, and Ooh. with an XP share. And if you do it in white two, you get a shiny Dratini, which is not that good because you can find wild Dratini, but Gibble is not in the wild at all, so nice. more valuable. So yeah, it was level one. Kept the XP share on him. Went through the Elite Four once on challenge mode. Came out after beating Iris in the challenge mode. Level 50 Garchomp. Oh my gosh. Ah, this level is fucking pissing me off. I'm losing it already. Yeah. Yeah, probably with the flame, you're probably gonna have to like backtrack, uh, backtrack and run over, uh, run over, <laughs> hop over it, so that we can get the timing right. Maybe. These games are always about timing, I tell ya. Just so you can ah. jump over it and get the timing right. There you go. Oh! Ah. Up. There we go. Uh, you, I can't even get up that jump now. There's probably like a block or something that's hidden, I would assume, there. Because oh. it wouldn't make it like impossible for you to get over it. Either that or... Is there wall jumping in this game? Nope. Okay, well, there's no wall jumping. There's got to be a block I, in order. I think, like I think a hidden wall, block. The wall jumping was introduced in um the DS version, I think. Um. Okay. I, I thought wasn't the first wall jumping was like in uh, the 64. Uh, I, Mario 64, I think. I have no I'm idea. I'm going to assume maybe because uh, I don't know. I don't know how they could have done it in this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Hooray. I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, I have a shiny Garchomp. Oh, that's so cool. I always wanted like a shiny Starmie. I was always hoping to like find one legit one day. I never actually found a shiny Pokemon legit yet. Oh yeah, I've, I've found a few shiny Pokemon. I have... Oh, okay. uh, who do I have? Uh, I managed to get my sister to give me a shiny Stunky. Mm -hmm. I found a shiny Pelipper. Nice. Which, it's green and gold, so I called it Strayer. Yeah. I have the shiny Red Gyarados from Harkon Soul Silver, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got that Garchomp, and then the prize of my collection. I have a shiny Rayquaza. Very nice. A shiny legendary Rayquaza, like a boss. That is so awesome. Yeah, I probably would have to play like Pokemon way more than what I do in order to find a legit shiny or wild encounter. But sometimes it might not even matter like how much you play, since it's like so it's a, rare the percentage it's to a find random one chance like, anyway. wild. Uh, every time. I would, I wanted to skip this level, but I don't think you can actually skip the castles. I don't think you can skip them. Mm. Oh no. Yeah, I really, I really want to get um. Ah, uh, what is it? A um. There's one Pokemon I really want as a shiny. I can't think of what it was. Um. Yeah, I can't think of it, but it was one I really wanted for a long time. Ah! Oh, this game. I regret choosing this game. <laughs> See, that would be my problem with choosing like one of the older games. Is eventually I'll be like, oh, this is so great, blah blah. blah. I get the first two worlds, and then next thing you get hit with a wall, and you're like, oh, am I really gonna get to this let's play, or is it gonna have to go on a cancel let's play list? I don't know. Oh uh, well, actually, I didn't pick it. I put a poll up, and this was picked. Oh yeah, that's right. People love the Mario. They want to see the rage. Yeah. Well. Mm, well, Emerald's next after this, so. Nice. 
Emerald is my next LP. Ah, I got up there. Just had to run. Okay, I'm going to run the gauntlet here. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely for my next let's play after Metro Another M, which is something I have to seriously get back to because I've been busy with art portfolio stuff and I'm hoping to apply for my school soon. So, awesome. <laughs> once that's out of the way, I will be able to focus on things. Ooh, it's, um, what's his name? Is that Boom Boom? I think. Yeah, I believe so. Doesn't he, like, eventually jump up to the ceiling or something? Or I don't yeah, just know. Just timing it right. Ah! No! Also, the controls. Remember the controls, people. He's using a keyboard. It's be much easier on a controller. Yeah, I know. That's why I wish I got my Xbox controller working. I'd be so much happier using that. Yeah. I'd feel so much more comfortable using my Xbox controller to do this. It may not be an Xbox game, but the Xbox controller works just fine. <laughs> Oh, uh, keyboards. Yeah. Not good for this kind of game. Oh! Yeah. Wow, that was close. This guy, I don't like him. I don't like him or his face. Oh, he jumped. Yeah, there's a good strategy. Like, like, a certain timing in order to beat him pretty darn fast. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I think he'll, he'll start running nope. faster than ah, I Ah, gotcha! Off the wall. There you go. Yay! Question mark circle thing. Victory. Very nice. Yeah, so all the YouTube channels were switched over today, or, or yesterday, or whatever. Different um, time zones. But yeah. They're all yeah, forced it's today. All new layout. Lovely. Yeah, it's I know, it's pretty shit. Yeah. Well, at least... I'm sure a lot of people learn how to go to it, but it was coming, uh, so... Yeah. I was meaning to switch over sooner, but then I just said frigate. I at least I, might I got well just to hang use... on to the end. At least I got to use one of those old channel-style banners, at least for a little while. Yeah, that's true. Oh god, this guy. <laughs> a water level, why? Yeah, especially on a freaking key. Oh my god. Yeah, well, uh, three gave me a lot of anger issues. Let's just say that. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, get I know. out of there. No! Oh, like the you... Xbox controller is pretty good for PC gaming. No! Oh yeah. Just in these levels, just don't even care. Just like swim for your life. That's yeah, what I, I learned know. with these. Just don't even care. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Because pretty much keep dodging. If you go start going slow and being precise, you will die. Wow, I missed it. Oh. There we go. You know about the whole running and getting a star, right? Yeah. Yeah. I never but seem to I, get it, though. <laughs> I find those stars pretty useless. I prefer using actual power-ups. Hooray! But I think, like, if you get, like, a st you get, like th or three stars, it's, like, be, like, five up, I'm pretty sure. Speaking five of stars... <laughs> Yay! Here we go. Still another world while we're here. That's right. Oh. Wow! Oh my. Wait, I think I remember this. Like, this world's supposed to be like the big, small yeah. world or whatever. Yeah, it is. It's the giant world. The giant world. Okay, this is where I think I ended up rage quitting or gave yeah. up because I ended up dying so much. And then I got set sent back. Because old games oh, like oh. to do that. No! I'm gonna do this world. I don't like that world, don't I? I don't know. Oh. One of these days, I will beat this game. One of these days, you I will beat, beat it. it. Yes, but you will beat it before me. Because it's a let's play. Oh, I nearly won that. Yeah. It never comes to like, little games like that. I tend to lose those often, too. I, I've I won really them a few times. Let's play already, but oh well. Hey, guy. I think you can fly with that, can't you? Or is that like a different one? For a one? little bit, for a little bit, you can. But yeah, I can never get that right either. I like how it's like a little house down there. 
Yeah. This is the door. Goodbye, What's in there? Yes. Oh, that was... Oh, it made everything small again. Everything Have you ever played, uh... Have you ever played Super Mario Bros. 2? Where it was like the, the dream or whatever? Um, that's actually what it's called. No. It's like Mario's dream. Ah, uh, yeah. The only one, the only new one I've played was the first one on the DS. Oh god, there's... I actually ended up beating that game. So I did beat an older retro Mario game. Hmm. I just remembered that, like, now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I beat that one. Hooray! Except I didn't... Oh, just trying to do, like, the... The one for the NES. Oh my god. Yeah. If you want rage. Holy oh. crap. The oh yeah, I... Bowser is nuts. I was there when Donald did that for his 100th video. I yeah, was there. so many freaking hammers and stuff. Yeah. I was there. I was just cheering him on, probably making him angrier at the same time. Oh, that was a fail jump. Uh, it was it was good. A good. That was a good um, video though. <laughs> Oops. That was a bad move on my part. Hi. Zoom. The giant Goombas look weird. Yeah, I know. Ugh. That was... Wow. <sighs> I'll try this one again. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I hate it. I know. So painful. All about timing these games. All about timing. <laughs> oh, I know. Ugh, and I'm terrible at timing. That's why I'm terrible at platformers. Yeah, I know. I'm the right. same. Oh no. Bullet bills! Crap. You know what's getting more serious when bullet bills are arriving? On the scene. Well, that's like a sinking one or something. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it looks They have like certain names. For each one. Ah! No. I must keep trying. Uh, I I, yeah, am de I am determined to beat this game. Yeah. And that's the thing about these games. It's like they will test your mental capacity. They really oh, will. I know. And like. It really does teach you to not give up, though. <laughs> My yeah, God. I know. Ah, I lost as much it. as you want to. I've had to take so many breaks from games like this just because I was just like, raging too much. And I'm like, okay. When you get to that point where like your mind's starting to like go on you with these games, you're just like, okay. That's when you start to do worse and worse, and then you rage more and more. That's the whole point of it. And that's why it's funny to record. Yep. As much as I don't want to do it anymore, I'm doing it for the people. Ah, oh, I jumped right into that one. <sighs> I'm trying to stay calm, but it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> don't blame you though, my god. I probably would have already lost it by now. And yeah. just be like saying random crap <laughs> to ease my mind. Because get so many game overs and I'm like, no, not again. Um I I don't know what's keeping me going on this game. It's, I need the co-commentary for this game. It's neat. Just about to say the co-commentators are keeping you sane. Pretty much. Sometimes I find with these games is if you're like I don't know, not aware. Like, this is the whole thing. If you're not aware of, like, I don't know, 
not that you're gonna fail or like nervous and stuff. You're like really calm in these games and not aware of like what you're doing and just kind of talking and just playing it. You tend to do better. True. I've noticed that with these games. I really have, and it's really strange. And then as soon as you like break that whole like in the zone concentration, you start to lose your focus, and then it's like, oh crap, I've yeah. become aware. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's that's the truth. Oh god. Oh, nope! No, you don't! Oh, yeah. Bigger Mario. There's one down there. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, let's try this one again. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Yeah! Mario Flower Power! Fire! Oops, well. More flower power. The power to Malie, and I failed to Malie. No. Ooh. Ah. Gosh, I hate those. I usually always hit like the Koopa Troopers, and then their shell comes back and kills me because I'm not smart with like uh, timing ah. where the shell is. Yeah, like 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 that. Oh yeah, I've had. I would do something like that, and I would get hit my hit myself, and well, I'm not good at you know using them to my advantage. Usually, it's ah. to my disadvantage. Once I shoot the shell off, and I'm like, oh crap! Especially buzzy beetles. Oh my god. Oh, I can't remember oh, what annoying. world that was in, but there's like a crap ton of buzzy beetles in like a cave or something. Yeah, that's not world like, three. Oh boy. That's Actually, maybe it was 3. there that I gave up. I'm not sure. Because I remember Buzzy Beetles, and I remember that was like the last thing that was on my mind that was making me rage so much was Buzzy Beetles. I'll never forgive them. <laughs> I'm probably going to give up on this level. I mean, we've been going for 37 minutes. Oh, I know. But there was some progress made. Oh, Alright, one more life. Five more chances. I'm done. I've had enough. You can do it. Aw. Believe in the power of the Mario. Whatever that is. Power ups. I don't know what power that is. I well actually knowing it's, it's probably like a rack. Knowing it knowing it oh. knowing it's knowing it's That's magic tanuki. mushrooms. I don't think it's the tanuki, is it? No, this I'm is trying to remember, I always get this suit. confused between the Snooky suit and like the raccoon suit. No, this is the raccoon one. That's what I thought, because the Tanuki, I think, is like the full bodysuit one. Yeah. And of course, oh, they I, all okay. know about PETA and their like, rage about I, the whole, like, oh no, he kills Tanukis. Oh well. Screw them. They're stuff off from whatever. If you think that's bad, if you, you see PETA's game, they made like their own version of Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. They made their own version of Pokemon to stop animal abuse. I know. I, la I laughed in their face and did a Let's Play on it. I know. I remember that. That was... Like, that was uh, black and blue. That was actually very fun to play. Yeah. I gotta say, they did make a fun game. Yeah. To laugh at. Bro, get on my level. Oh god, he's he's on my level. Okay. Oh god, this guy. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh, that really, really sucks. Oh my god. 
two more chances and then it's, I'm done. I'm done for the week. One more chance now. Oh. I will beat this. I will do it. In the name of magic mushrooms. Ha! And I died. Well, that's it. I'm done for the night. No. I don't blame you though. 40 minutes, that's a good good length for an episode. Oh yep. man. <sighs> oh. Well, I'm sure you all enjoyed. Yep. Enjoyed the victories and the fails. Actually, hang on, I never went commentary. I never went through this pipe here. I wonder where this goes. You're going back. Oh, so that <laughs> goes know. down here. Okay. Where does it go? Does it actually go Just back? Well? To the start, yeah. Like, get out of here. Well, yeah, um, I guess that's it. I'm done for now. Well, thanks for coming on. Yeah, no problem. It was fun. Uh, Definitely reminded me of the pain of playing this game, too. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you saw the... <laughs> The poll I put on Facebook. A lot of people saw it. Um, I'm gonna do a race of this in the future, so. Oh boy. Well, definitely good luck with that one. Oh my gosh. If you can race yeah. this game, well then. You know. I already have, I already <laughs> have one person it. in it, but I won't reveal that to the public yet. They know right. who they are. <laughs> yep. Ah, finished my coke for a finished episode. Hope you enjoyed, everyone. Yep. Uh, you did. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see you later. See ya.